Hello again there. In the last video I showed you how you can protect your PHP MyAdmin file so that only people on the IP addresses you specify can access it. Just uh, another way of protecting your database. And in this video, um, what we're going to be aiming to do is set up an SSH server. What this does is it allows you to uh, get onto your server through a c the command line um, from any other IP address. So, say you quickly need to update your server because you suddenly become aware there's a fault in the previous version of um, the Apache server and you're on holiday, for example. You've got access to a computer, but you can't change the files on your server. Or if you're hosting your server somewhere else, you need to get access to it. So what you can do if you need to do that, you can um, have a file, uh, an application called Putty, and you can enter your IP address of your server, the port of your server, and then you can log into your server and you can do everything you need to do from there. It's brilliant. Um, the only problem with it is, is if you leave it on the um, default port, then you get loads of people trying to access it. So we're going to cover how to change the port as well for security reasons. So uh, if you wanted to uh, have a look at the previous videos, then you can go over to wilson18.com, go to the how to section, scroll down and have a look at the Linux networking guides there. Right. The first thing we're going to d need to do is start the server. Um, I will be doing this in a virtual machine just to speed stuff up, but we need to start the server and I'll tell you where to go from there. So once we've done that, we need to log in. You can see the usual information there. Um, how much memory has been used, etc. And to actually start installing the SSH server, we need to type in sudo, super user do, um, followed by task cell. And what this will do after you've typed in your password. it means that you can then select the different applications you want so if, if you wanted to set up a Samba server, a, a mail server, a print server or an open SSH server as we're going to be doing then you can actually set them up here but what we're going to be installing here is the open SSH server so if you scroll down, if you go down to that and press the space bar to select it and click enter It'll quickly install it because it's not a very big file. It shouldn't take too long. And that's done already. So the last thing we need to do is change the port that it listens to. Um, to do this you type in sudo and then nano, which is the text editor, and the location of the file which is etc ssh sshd underscore config and that will open the file and we just need to go down to the bit where it says port which is by default 22 and we're just going to be changing this to something else um, I will be changing this to something on here but for security reasons I recommend you using a completely different port make sure that it's already open because you don't want to be using the same port as some of your other applications and you, if you want to access this from the uh, the world then you will need to set up a port forward on our router I can't go into telling you how you do that because every route is different so that's up to you unfortunately but uh, we can just change this to for example 822 or 8822 and that's the port we'll be using again make sure yours is different and once you've done that, you can save it. And to do that, you do Control O, and then press Enter. That writes the file, and then you can do Control X to exit. Once you've done that, you need to restart the um, SSH. So to do that, you type in sudo, and then etc init.d 
SSH and then reload. And once you've done that, you know it works. So to test that, we can actually run Putty. Um, if you've never run it before, or if you don't know anything about it, then I'll tell you where you can get it. Um, if you open up the internet and do a search for Putty, and go down to putty.org, should be on there somewhere, and you can download Putty here. Do that and click putty.exe, and then you can run it. So you can type in the IP address of the server, so for this case it will be 10.0.0.150 and the port is the port you specified but for this I'll just be using 8822 and you click open and then you will be asked to log in. So you choose your, well you specify the username and the password and you're in, you know it works. So just if you wanted to test it for example you can do if config you've got your IP address there, if you can ping something you know it works. So um, yeah, I uh, hope that helps. In the next set of videos I will be trying to make it a little bit more secure as well. I, I'll be installing firewall and I'll be monitoring the log files so that if anyone does try and get um, onto the SSH server a lot of times and they fail pretty much every time then they will be getting blo uh, blocked so that obviously adds to the security of the server. Um, I hope this video was useful if it was then please like and subscribe if it wasn't then I'm sorry but make sure to comment below and I can try and help out the rest of them and make it better in future. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.